this is Trisha and welcome to my channel. This is going to be a continuation of my baby shower series. Alright everyone, as I said, this is going to be part of my baby shower series and this is project number three and I will be doing a diaper cake. Okay, so let me tell you what the supplies are going to be. I'm going to be using a newborn diapers, but I think the best uh, diaper to use is probably the stage one, which is probably like about a three month old uh, size uh, or maybe a little even bigger. These newborn sizes are quite small, but I wanted my cake to be a little small because I'm going to have it here in my home. I don't have a lot of space to put too many things, so that's why I decided to go on this size. Now, I got my Pampers uh, or my diaper, whatever you want to call them. I got them, well, Pampers is actually a brand name, so we're just going to say diapers. Uh, I got them from a Walmart. Um, I don't know if that's the Walmart brand or not, but you can get whatever diapers you want to get, uh, whatever brand you want to get. Uh, but I did look to see which ones didn't have like a lot of print and stuff. I wanted them to be all white. And I did find uh, this particular brand, and all they had was just a little bit of a print here on the band, which would be in the front, the belly area. The, the rest of it is pretty much plain, except for that one little yellow line, the little uh, indicator, you know, letting you know if the diaper is has been used by the baby. Okay, so anyway, that's what I got. The package that I got was a package of 42, but I went ahead and I got two packages, which is 84 diapers, and I think uh, the pretty much the count of diapers uh, to create these particular project takes anywhere from 60 to 100 from what I've seen in some of the videos, uh, but um, I think I'm going to go, I think I have enough here because uh, like I said, I'm going to make something smaller. So I got these uh, cake rounds as well. These cardboard cake rounds. You can find items like this at uh, any craft store that carries cake uh, supplies or even Walmart. They do have a section where they have these. Um, I got these from a party store actually nearby me and uh, they were pretty cheap. They were under a dollar each, uh, but you know, depending on the size. Uh, but it, then again, it depends also where you buy them from, so they might be a dollar and some change. Uh, but this one is a 14 inch and this one is a 12 inch and I was thinking about it and I decided that um, I'm going to go with a 12 inch so that I don't have to fill it as much uh, even though I still kind of want to go to the edges. I think this would be too big of a, of a circle considering that my particular diapers are kind of small but if you get the the stage one or two actually then I would probably get a bigger circle which is a 14 inch and they have like it you know bigger sizes maybe a 16 inch uh, would be better for you I don't know how big you want to make your cake but that's uh, one of the items that we want to get now if you don't find them you could use a platter if you have an existing platter at home or maybe an inexpensive one from the dollar store uh, that you don't mind getting some hot glue on because we are going to put some hot glue on it uh, I've seen some tutorials where they don't even use um, anything underneath uh, the form the cake form uh, that we create with the diapers uh, I'm just going to say the cake. Okay, uh, just to <laughs> clarify that. Okay, uh, I see that they don't even use them, but I'm just wondering, well, how do you transport them to wherever you're taking them? I guess uh, they create it in the area that they're going to have it at, or they're really nice and tight. I don't know, but I think the, the, the best bet would be to put something underneath it. Now, maybe you have a cutting board that you don't mind using. It doesn't have to be a circle. It could be a rectangle or a square. Uh, I've actually seen a couple of tutorials where they made it a square shaped cake, you know, with the three layers or just two layers um, besides a circle. So anyway, continuation because this is getting long. All right, I also got some ribbons and I got all kinds of ribbons. That's going to be up to you what you decide to use. So I just have a ton of ribbons here because I don't know what I want to use, but uh, I won't uh, go into detail about them. I just will tell you that I got a lot of them at Walmart and some of them I got them at a little craft store that's near me. Besides a ribbon, like regular, regular like fabric type of ribbon. Now it doesn't have to be wire edged. But uh, some of these are, I think. I have a couple that are wire edged. But you're going to need some curling ribbon. Uh, or you could use some large rubber bands. Some that will expand quite a bit. Or even bigger than what I'm doing right here. Uh, you need some of those. Uh, but otherwise you could use some curling ribbon. Or just some kind of string or yarn. Something to tie around them to keep them together. Uh, but you also will need some little small tiny little rubber bands. These are just like uh, the elastics. Little tiny elastics that you use on little small ponytails and things like that. Uh, these are great for the holding the diapers into their round 
uh, circular tubular shape. Okay, we're also going to be needing something in the middle. Uh, this is what's going to get hot glued to these uh, cake rounds. And you could use the, um, the cardboard tube that's inside of wrapping paper. So save those. And if you have maybe a roll that's got very little wrapping paper on it, maybe you want to take it off, just slide it off and use that or use it with a diet with the wrapping paper already on there. You could also use the inserts from paper towel rolls. Now I've decided to go ahead and use this rather than using the one from my wrapping paper because my diapers are pretty small and I can fit three tiers. So I'm going to use this one. This one's kind of thin, so I'm going to use this little bit wider one. Okay, so that's just an idea of what you can use for that. Uh, some uh, people are even using uh, baby blankets in the middle, uh, then wrapping the diapers around that because then they get an extra little gift inside. Okay, I'm also going to be using one of these little uh, paper doilies. This is from the Dollar Tree. It was a package of, I don't know, 32 or so that I purchased and I used it on my cupcake stand. And I've got some still. And I'm, I think I'm going to use this larger one that was as a 12 inch to put on my cake board. I don't need this. You could wrap this up with a uh, fabric if you want, wrapping paper, or you don't have to wrap it at all. Or if you have like a nice tray, like I said, a pretty little tray that you got inexpensively, uh, you don't have to wrap it at all. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use this little doily because I think I want the little edges to show here. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to be using the doilies in other areas of my decor, so I kind of want that look. Okay, now the rest of this is uh, obviously also very optional. I've got some little flowers, little bushes here. Some of them I got at Dollar Tree, some at Hobby Lobby. I've got some paper shred, which is this. You don't have to use this. You could use tissue paper if you prefer to use that. Or, you know, like mesh, the rolls of mesh. You could use those. You can find those also uh, inexpensively at the dollar store. And then I've got some little plastic baby decor items. These are some little blocks. Um, I think I got these at Hobby Lobby. Uh, some of these items, uh, I got them in some stores that I don't even remember because I've had them for quite a while. I actually have way more decorations in a drawer and I might go digging into that. I did get this little baby bottle as well. And I love this cute little soft rubber baby. Look at how cute that is. You'll see it up close later. And I've got some plastic uh, pacifiers here, little passies, binkies, whatever you want to call them. And then some plastic rattles. I'm not going to use all the items in the package. I'm just going to use maybe one or two from here and there. And I've got this little pick. It says it's a boy. That's cute to maybe stick inside there. Now to help me stick some of these items down, I've got these uh, glue dots. You could use a double stick tape or maybe a tiny dot of glue of, from your hot glue gun if you're going to stick it onto the ribbon. I don't want to do that onto the diapers because I feel like the hot glue, if I try to pull it off later, it'll tear the diaper. But a little glue uh, stick, like a little glue dot like this, uh, you will find this in a lot of items and they come off it very easily. Just try not to press it too hard in there. It's just for a little tiny bit of hold. Okay, so that's why the other reason why we're putting our form, our cake form, on, on something, on some sort of a board or tray so nothing falls off. Okay, this is getting really long. I also found this centerpiece item. It's like a honeycomb that you pop open and it's got the honeycomb finish on the bottom. It says, it's a boy. I think this would be cute way at the top of the cake. We're going to see how that looks. Uh, otherwise, I may use something else or I could use the flowers. All right, everybody, <laughs> let's get to crafting. All right, uh, forgive me for having talked really fast at the start of the video. I think I had a lot to say and I just trying, was trying to get it in into the video without using too much time. So let's get to uh, preparing this cake board right here or if you have a tray or if you want to cut one out of foam board or a thick cardboard you can do that yourself okay so we're going to go ahead and glue this uh, doily onto here but because I also want to glue this on here I don't want this to like just be glued onto this paper I want this paper to be glued on to the actual board so I'm going to put lots of glue right here in the middle so that I can make sure this sits down first and then I'll worry about gluing down the little edges so that I can just put little dots here and there so it won't be like really thick bumps. So, But here in the middle I'm not going to worry about it because this um, is going to go on here. So what I'm going to do just to uh, make sure that, um, let me see if I can find myself a pen because I didn't grab a pen or a pencil. Oh, here's one. Okay. I'm going to make myself a little circle, sort of center this some way. I'm going to mark my little circle right there. Okay, so then I'm going to do glue 
all in there. And I probably should have my fan hitting this because, you know. And I'm not going to worry about it being all lumpy and all that because, like I said, that's in the middle of this uh, thing. And um, it'll be inside of it. Okay, so now I'm just going to press this down carefully. You can use this. <laughs> use your pencil a little bit. Okay, so now I don't want these edges to keep flopping up, obviously, because of my little fan. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't worry about them. I'm just going to put like little dots here and there. Tiny little dots of glue. Just so that it doesn't fly around. So now I'm just going to put glue on the little edge here. And this, this is a little board that or a roll that we just want. Um, just to have here in the middle so that we can start setting all our, our little diapers around it. Now I'm going to wait for all this glue to dry really, really well. I don't want any wet glue on here before I start putting my diapers on here because I don't want to get the glue on the diapers. So we're going to put that aside and let that dry right over there. So now we're going to take our diapers and like I said, I bought a um, package of Two packages of 42, so at 84. So just start uh, getting these, and then you're going to use little tiny little elastics, little hair elastics or rubber bands. And I'm using brand new ones. I'm not getting old ones. I want nice clean ones. And so that's why I put this fabric on here also because I wanted my table to be clean. Um, even though I could just easily disinfect the other counter, but I just put this on here. Not only that, but I think it looks pretty. Anyway, uh, we're going to use these little bands to wrap around our little diapers and that's just very simple to do this is the back this is the front if it happens to have print on both bits then it doesn't really matter we're just going to take them and then just start rolling them up and i'm not going to do them like real real tight i'm just going to roll them up gently like that and then i can take the elastic and let me tell you make sure you moisturize your hands really well get somebody to help you doing this uh, just, you know, relax as you do this on a separate time and get them all ready ahead of time uh, because I wrap this up so, you know, every time I would open up a little rubber, you know, you slide my fingers in there, this finger right here, the rubber would be rubbing up against my cuticle area right here, this little tender area, and then it just started bleeding. And uh, thankfully, it wasn't like bleeding like all over the place, but just be careful with that because, you know, you could get yourself a little blister and then it'll cut and tear that skin up. And obviously, you don't want to hurt yourself, number one. And the second, you don't want to get any blood on the little diapers. Okay, so that's just my little, <laughs> my little tip. Moisturize your hands and just do this carefully and don't rush to do this. Have somebody help you. Okay, these little rubber bands are nice and tight. And I love them and I only have to put them on one time. I don't have to, you know, like twist and then wrap again around the diaper. And because they are brand new, they are very, very kind of, you know, still kind of stiff. Okay, so I'm going to finish doing these. I've actually done a whole bunch already. Uh, like I said, do them ahead of time. So I've got this bag full of rolled up diapers. So I'm actually going to end up with 84. Now, whether I'm going to use all 84, I don't know. So what I'll do is I just won't wrap these last ones. Um, I'll just finish with these. And then we'll see how many I actually use in my diaper cake. All right, so we're back, and now we're gonna go ahead and start constructing our diaper cake. So we're gonna do the first uh, layer, or the first tier. So you can use a curling ribbon, or you can use rubber bands. You can just slide them in here, if you like, if you prefer. So let's go ahead and do it with a rubber band, and then we'll do it with the ribbon, so that you can see, uh, you can decide which you would like to do. I don't think I have a preference. Uh, we'll find out. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out, I got two, four, six diapers, maybe seven. And I think that's sort of kind of the, uh, what other uh, tutorials are showing you to use in the first layer, or the first row on the first layer. We'll just say that. Okay, but when I put these on here, I want this, uh, actually the, the ones on the inside, because we're gonna do maybe two or three row, or actually three rows going out of diaper. The first two won't matter which way they're facing, uh, but the very last one we want to make sure that we get the rounded part facing outward rather than a, you know, one where there's a little edge here. But just for the heck of it, just to be even with everything, I'm going to put um, 
all of them with the seam going towards the center of the cake. Okay, or, you know, facing the tube here. So you can start putting them in there like that if you use a, a um, rubber band. And they, they will flop here, here and there around on you. That's okay. You can uh, reshape them. So here's a, our first uh, row. And I think six of them make a nice uh, amount. Okay, just like that. I'm going to take off the rubber band, even though I'm really liking the idea of the rubber band, and just do with the ribbon so that I can show you that other alternate way of doing it. So let's remove the rubber band. And all you're going to do is just start standing your little diapers on here. And then you'll take a nice length of a ribbon. Trim that off. And then tie that around. And I would tell you already right off the bat uh, that I do like this. I do like using the, the ribbon to tie around. I didn't have too much of a problem standing them up and then bringing the ribbon around to tie them. I just want to make sure that I get it tight, but I don't want to make it too tight that I misshape this, you know, like I push into the diapers and then cause a a horrible crease on them because they've already got that little rubber band around them so I don't want to do that do any more to that so there you go with the um, and you can see there where I tied it knotted it so that works really well uh, I do like the idea of the rubber bands because it seems to be the ease the easier way to go and the reason that I like that is because this rubber band stretches out quite a bit so let's continue using that so we can see um, what that will do so I'm going to grab I'm probably going to grab 12, let's see, I've got 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, I think i got 12. <laughs> okay, so now what we can do, now that we've got, since, we've, since we are going to opt to use a rubber band, and I'm going to take it off and show you how you can do it with a ribbon so that you can see, and we can both learn which is the best way that we would like to do it. Okay, so now I'm going to put this row of diapers, and all I'm doing is I'm pulling on the rubber band and sliding it in, and again, making sure that the fold is facing towards the tube that I've got here in the middle, and that's super easy. I like this. Let's keep doing that. This is super easy. I like it. I like it. Okay, so I've got room for one more on the second row, and that one used 12. And again, I'm using the newborn. I think that if you're using the regular size, you can still go with the same count. Uh, that it's just going to be, uh, it'll just fill it up a little bit more and make it go out further and make a bigger cake. Now, now that you see me do this uh, first layer with these two rows, that's what the second layer is going to be. The second layer is going to be two rows of diapers, so you're going to do six and then 12 for this, the, the, uh, the middle layer. This first layer, I'm still going to do another row of diapers, and I think I'm going to go with 24. So let's see, what's 24, 12, 36, and then another uh, six in the middle? Does that make it 42? If I'm doing my math right, if I'm not, let me know down below. I'll probably figure it out in a minute anyway. Uh, let me write this down. I did, I'm thinking 24, 12, and 6. Actually, I could just add this up real quick. Ha, 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 Yeah, that's 42. <laughs> okay, so that was one package of diapers to do the first row. So, uh, because the second uh, row, or, or we're going to say layer, sorry. These are the rows going out, and going up is going to be layers. So, for the first layer, 42 diapers. This, the middle layer, or the second layer, is going to be 6 and then 12, so that's 18. And then the very top layer, we're just going to do one row, so that's going to have 6 diapers. So that gives us what? 42 and 18, that's 60, and that's 66 diapers uh, to create the diaper cake that I'm doing. 
So you can just go from there. Okay, so now what I wanted to do is I wanted to see how it would work if I continued using just curling ribbon and not the rubber band. But I think the rubber band is my favorite because I think that now that I've decided to do 24 on the next row on my first layer, I think I can stretch this rubber band enough to do that. So we're going to find out. But first, let's do the row with the curling ribbon to help us tie that down. I almost pulled out the first row. <laughs> okay. I already know that I'm not doing it with a rubber band. I'm only doing this um, so that uh, you can uh, decide what you want to do. So if this video is long and boring, just skip right over this this part and get to the decorating. Haha. <laughs> okay. This is going to be a little bit harder, and I think as we get to the 24th row, it might get a little, you know, the, not the 24th row, the third row with the 24 diapers, it might get a little bit harder uh, to get them to stand and stay in place. So maybe you want to tie a few at a time. I don't know. You know what? I'm not liking this idea. I like it with the rubber bands, guys. Okay, one more there. The problem is that I'm sitting down <laughs> and I'm not really looking. Okay, so I just want to make sure that these seams are all facing inward. There we go. Okay, so now let's get some ribbon. Let's take this little tape off of here. And just cut a nice long piece. I'm not going to do it with the ribbon. I'm actually going to do it with the rubber band, you guys, because I think that would be the nicest way to do this. And it's so much better. So make sure you get yourself some nice big rubber bands. Okay, so I'm just going to hold it tight, but I'm going to look around all the way. Make sure they're all twisted. It wasn't that big of an ordeal doing it this way, but I like it with the rubber band. Okay, so now we hold it tight. And I'm actually going to do the third row with the curling ribbon as well because I want to see if that is going to be like really hard to do. Okay, there we go. I've got it on there, so now I'm just going to trim these little bits here. Okay, so I just want to make sure that they're all standing straight and there's no little gaps here and there. Okay, they're all on there and they're all nice and firmly held okay they're not going to get glued to the, this it's going to get this is why we needed this little platter to hold it on like that okay so that's they're, they're obviously holding holding on really well because when I did this and they slid they all slid together they didn't come apart so this is working really well with a curling ribbon as you can see it's just a little bit extra work so now I'm going to pull out 24 of these diapers because I believe that's exactly what I'm going to need. If we have to do any changes, we'll do that. Okay, so I pulled out another 24 diapers out of my little bag here. And now I'm going to put these to make that third row on my first layer. Um, I don't know if I'm going to cut all this out and then edit just to where I finish because I kind of want you to see any struggles that I might have so that then you can decide on your own. And I don't know, maybe my little fan is also not helping here. I'm thinking that maybe I don't need the 24 diapers. to be all nice and pretty. Okay. Okay, so I've been putting these diapers on here. Like I said, I pulled out 24 to do this third row. But I feel like I don't need all of them because they're starting to 
uh, kind of overlap each other and kind of making a mess. So I've got six of them here that I still haven't put on here. So actually this third row only took 18. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put the curling ribbon around 18 of them and see how that looks. And then I think I'm going to I'm going to remove it, put the rubber band, and see if I can fit the 24 and see if that looks even better. So I'm just going to get a piece of ribbon that's long enough to go all the way around. I'm going to have slack. I was trying to fit these other ones, but then it makes these on this third row kind of like fall into each other and it kind of misshapens the whole cake, the whole cake form. Okay, just get it on there. Pull it tight, but not, but not too tight that I'm bending any of the diapers. Okay. And then make a knot. And trim off any excess. And there we go. And then just straighten them as you turn them around. Actually, I have a little bit of a gap here. I think I could fit another one, so that makes 19. Okay, any other gaps? Let's make the, yeah, there's a little bit of a gap over here. Right here, there's a little bit of a gap. So I'm just going to push them over, these, that way, and I can fit one more in there. So that'll be 20. So what do you think of that? Let's look around. They look like rolls of toilet paper. So now I just want to make sure that they're all have that seam right over here because when I look at the bottoms here, I, don't, I want them all to look like the, the bottoms are touching on the, on the uh, either the platter or the board, okay? Okay, let me turn one around so I can tell you what I mean. Like if I turn this one around, let me look at it. Just slightly. Okay, let's just do that. Now, if you're looking at all of them, you can see that the bottoms are pretty much touching. But then you get to this one right here. This one. You can see like a really, uh, you know, a bigger gap because, you know, it's right here where it starts to get lifted because it's a smaller area of the diaper. So uh, then you can see that. So you want to make sure that the end where this part is facing straight into the, the pole in the middle, okay? roll in the middle so that then it has that look rather than that super big gap so just check them all if you're like me you're going to want to do that <laughs> if it doesn't matter to you don't worry if you're going to tuck some tool or something in there underneath there then obviously don't worry i kind of like that idea some tool or some mesh i actually do have some mesh but i'm going to use it on a wreath so i don't want to use it for this because then i'll have to go buy some more Okay, I have another one over here that does need to be fixed. Okay, so there you go, guys. That's what it looks like with the curling ribbon, and it wasn't that big of a deal. But I'm going to take it off. Well, should I? Actually, if I had the rubber band on, I feel like I could actually add the 24 and, you know, just spread them out a little bit more. But I'm going to go with this, okay? So I have 20. So actually, instead of uh, 66 for my, it could be 66. Uh, for the first layer, if I do use the 24 on the third row, otherwise it's 62 diapers that I'll use completely for everything. So it would, instead of, um, instead of uh, let's say, what did I have here? Instead of 42, we're going to say 38 on the first layer. Okay. <laughs> I think that ha if that helps you, uh, then uh, great. I'm not going to mention those counts again until the very end. Okay, so now we want to go ahead and do the next row. And just for the heck of it, I'm going to use the rubber band idea. But I think I'm going to grab one that's just a little bit smaller, a little bit tighter. Because as you all saw, we didn't need a really, really big one. So I'm going to use this one. I think that's that one's going to be good enough. 
All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide it in, in there first. Let me move the camera so that you can see a little bit better. Okay, so I've got my rubber band in here, and I'm going to grab six of them. And I'm just going to slide them in right now just to get them in there. And then I'll worry about uh, standing them correctly. So that looks good. Like I said, this first... The first uh, row that you put in the center, and, and you know, at the very beginning, it's going to get hidden away. So you don't have to worry too much about them being like nice and perfect like the, out, the ones on the outside. But, you know, you still try a little bit. So that's six, right? I did six on the first one. Yeah, okay, six. And then I said that the next row was going to be 12. So now I need 12 diapers. And I've got the four that were over here already. Okay, here we go. So then we're going to slide those into the rubber band, which is super easy. And they stay in place so that if you decide to twirl it around like that, you don't have to worry about them falling over. You know what would be a good uh, thing to use is a, um, what do you call those uh, little tables that turn? A turntable. Uh, okay. Now we're going to fix these. Now, why does it seem to me now that I may need an extra one here? You know what it is? It's because the curling ribbon brings it in real nice and tight. Aha! And this rubber band is still not pulling it nice and tight. So I actually have room for one more in here. And because... Or should I go ahead and just use the curling ribbon? You know what? The rubber band is awesome, but I'm going to do this where I use the curling ribbon as well. So the rubber band helps you to get them on there, keep them straight. Now, what you could do is you could grab another diaper and slide it in because another one will fit. And that closes the gaps now. And that works great. You could do that. Have six instead of 12, you have 13. But, like I had a lot of diapers to play with, so I could do that. But let's say you went and uh, made sure you only got enough, just enough what you needed and, and are doing it with the counts that I first gave you. Then we want to do this. We want to go ahead and put a curling ribbon around them. And then just tighten it to pull them together. And like I said, tight enough, you pull them together, but not to squish the diaper inward. Okay, now I'm just going to get this. Oops. That's another reason I did kind of like using the rubber bands. With the rubber bands, you could just slide in as many as you need, but just keep an eye on your form. Make sure that it's always a nice around form. Okay, now I'm just going to turn it around and make sure that all the, the seams are facing inward. And I'm not going to worry about the rubber band showing because uh, I'm going to put another ribbon to cover that. And guess what, you guys? I still have a gap. I can fit one more diaper. I'm going to do that. So instead of 60, what is it that I said? Okay, let me make sure that I write myself the actual count again. <laughs> so I used 6 in the first row, 12, and then I used 20. Okay, now my second layer has 6 and then it has 13. My goodness. So I've got 38 and then 19. Okay. So you'll decide from those counts. Okay, so my last row, I'm only going to use um, six. Now, we're going to have to be digging around for a rubber band that's small enough to hold all that, but I think I am. Uh -huh. And this rubber band is not very tight, so it's just going to hold them in place until I use my curling ribbon. Or if you want to add more into your row, 
then you can do that. So it's good to have extra diapers. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put six of them. Now I might end up putting seven because I want to make sure that I don't see that cardboard roll. Okay, my camera died on me at some point. Uh, so I'm back and I was putting eight on here, but I decided that no, eight was a little bit too much. So seven is just fine now. I still can see the top of my little cardboard insert a bit here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide these that I decided to use up at the top. I'm just gonna slide them off and I'm actually going to trim this down almost an inch because I really don't want it showing at the top. So the easiest way to do that is just cut downward and then, you know, cut around rather than going like this because then you could just squeeze the whole thing and then you'll misshape the, the whole roll and then things won't be, you know, nice. They'll, they'll go inward and then you'll lose your whole shape that you created. Okay, so now I can just put these back on here. Look at that. That was easy. Okay, so I had tried putting an eighth one in there, but I decided no because it made them kind of lose their shape, kind of slide upward. So I'm going to stick with seven. So seven in the very top row. And then I'm just going to cut a piece of, I thought I already had. I'm going to cut a piece of curly ribbon, put it around, and then just tighten it. Okay, and of course the brand of your diapers is going to tell you, you know, the cost. So I can't really tell you what your cost is going to be, but I can tell you that the diaper of 42 count that I bought, there were four and some change. It was five dollars, so I spent ten dollars on two packs, plus whatever decorations on here. So it, this can be kind of like a little bit of a pricey uh, craft, but the diapers are going to be reused. And of course, um, if you want to use uh, bottles that she, she can actually use for the baby, pacifiers that she could actually use for the baby, use baby washes, little uh, towels, things like that that she can actually reuse, then it's not going to waste. You're not, you know, you're spending them some money, but it's actually going uh, towards the baby. So don't worry about that. Otherwise, you know, if you want to be like me and use little decorative things that could just get tossed aside, it's okay. So look, I have cute little things here that I want to put on there. But the first thing I want to do is I want to cover it with some ribbon. And I had the idea that I wanted to use some burlap, but the, this burlap that I have is obviously too wide. I have this other ribbon. I don't know if it's enough to go all the way around. And if it doesn't go all the way around the, the bottom one, because it's just a leftover piece. And I really didn't want to have to go buy some more. I really like the look of it. And it fits perfectly on this middle row, so I'm going to use it for that. And I've got this other one, a nice mega roll here of ribbon. This is an acetate ribbon. It has like a satiny finish on one side. It doesn't on the other side. It's a matte finish, but this is really nice. I'm going to use this one here on the bottom. I think that looks really pretty. So I'm just going to cut enough where it overlaps a bit. Now you could use safety pins or just some straight pins to uh, put this together in the back. You could use the glue dots uh, to get this ribbon on here. Now I'm aligning it along the bottom edge, but you could center it a little bit, which is I think what I want to do. Okay, so in order to you know, to get this to be attached. I'm obviously not going to attach it to the diapers. I'm going to attach the ribbon to itself. So I'm going to put some hot glue on the ribbon. A little thin line. Pull on this nice and tight. And then glue it down. And then I can slide it into place where I want it. That looks nice. Look at that. You could align it centered or on the bottom edge, however you decide. Okay, so now I'm going to use this other ribbon that says, Oh baby, it's a boy. <laughs> uh, this one I got it at Walmart. It's so cute. 
Now, I did go on Amazon and I was looking for ribbons. And I actually found this one on there as well. Or at least it looked exactly like it, but it might have been a little different. This is from this brand, Ofre. Um, this one is just says Yama and Megan. I got this at a floral uh, store here in my town. So I just want to make sure that the letters are facing upward. Ah, that looks so pretty. Do I want to put another ribbon underneath this one? Let's try this burlapy one with a little bit of lace on it. Let's see how that looks. Oh, I like it. All right, I'm gonna use that one. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it up again just to overlap itself. Okay. And I'm going to glue it back here again where I did the other uh, gluing. I think I'm going to trim it just a little bit because it's a little long. All right, that overlaps just enough. And then I'll just fix it. Okay, let's put some glue on the end of the ribbon. And glue it down. All right, so I've decided to sit down. <laughs> I'm just going to put a little bit of a little dot of glue uh, between them so that the the ribbons stay in place with each other. Because this other one, because it's not too too tight on around the the cake, so it kind of slides down. So in order to keep it from sliding down, I'm going to put a little dot of glue, just a tiny one, and glue it to the ribbon on the bottom, just so it doesn't slide down again. A little turntable would be nice right now. All right. That looks so pretty. I love it. Okay, let me bring it upward so you can see that lace on there. All right. Now the next row, and the next row I said I was going to use this burlap, so I'm going to use the burlap underneath and then put some blues on top of that. I have so many ribbons I don't even know which ones to use. Okay and it's nicer to use like like coordinating ribbons like different ones and if you don't like that look then by all means just use. Now I'm going to be real careful with this one when I'm gluing it because um, I don't want the glue to seep through to the other side because this is burlap you know it's got the little holes. I don't want it gluing onto the diaper. Of course, if it glues onto one of them, I won't mind. Okay, so I'm just kind of like putting my finger there where I'm pressing it down inside so it doesn't stick to the actual diaper. Okay, that's good. And then I can just turn it around so I can make sure that it's not... Um, and while I'm at it, I can just fix those diapers too. Okay, that looks good. All right, so um, then I'm going to use this one there on that. That looks so pretty. Okay, I'm going to cut this one also with just a tad bit to overlap, about an inch or so. That looks so pretty on there. Okay, so now the top one. Oh, I've got so many. Oh my goodness. Oh, I just remembered that I had this really pretty white one that has this kind of a lattice look to it. Let me open that up. I want to use that because it mimics sort of, not really, but it does mimic the, you know, the cutouts on the side of the cupcake thing and then the little, um, I'm going to be using cupcake wrappers and they have a laser cut on them. So this kind of mimics that. Now, I don't want to put this on there because you can't really see it just like that. And let's see, this one has a lace on it and you won't see the, so I think I'm going to go with this blue. I do have one that has polka dots that I could put it over. Actually, that looks kind of pretty. And I'm using this other blue also in the decor. The only reason that I don't want to use it is because I feel like 
all those polka dots get lost. So I don't want to waste this ribbon. So I'm just going to go back to the solid. Um, what is this? A uh, acetate ribbon. I'm going to go back to this one. Cut just enough to go around and overlap. Oh, make sure the shiny part is upward or outside on the outside and then I'm going to put this white one around it so I'll be back. Okay so I'm back and I've finished putting all the ribbons that I wanted to put on the layers here. I think the combination looks really wonderful. I love it. Okay so now I just want to decorate it uh, with different items. So I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, push some of these items aside. Get the camera further back so that you can see what I'm doing also to the top of the cake. And I think I'm going to move the camera angle a little bit. I'm not sure. Okay, I do have some shredded paper that I think I want to tuck in right in here. So that that looks uh, cute coming out of that. And it adds that other blue that I said, uh, since I'm not using this one. Uh, but I do have these other blue ribbons also. That have these beautiful colors. And I have some that say, it's a boy. Another it's a boy, aside from this one that I already used in the middle. Now, I don't have to use all these different ribbons on here. Uh, that's just so that you know that you don't have to go out and buy it. They could all be the exact same ribbon. Uh, so that is up to you, what you want to buy, what you want to spend. Uh, but because I'm using different ribbons and different things, I think everything's going to coordinate. So uh, feel free to do that. You don't have to make everything all matchy-matchy. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so <laughs> I'm back and I've got another angle because I wanted you to see all the little items that I have on my table here. The flowers and... All the little decorations that I have. I didn't actually dig out any out of my drawer. I know that I have quite a bit more, but I didn't want to dig out too many because then I won't be able to decide what I want to do. I kind of decided that I do want to put these flowers on my on my cake somehow, um, but I want to try something else first. I am going to put the flowers on there, but I was thinking about doing like a little bouquet up here in the, in the top, but I want to try this uh, centerpiece thing and see how that fits up here because it seems like it might be too wide for the top here so I may just use this on something else and I'm not mad at that that's okay uh, but I'm gonna open it up and see just how it looks in case maybe you want to try something like that it's really cute once I open it up uh, if you're wondering why I'm so low here I mean I, I could use the stools to sit on the only thing is that I'm really comfortable on this chair and uh, this counter we built it for when I'm standing and working on things and I need to, need to move myself around a lot uh, but I also found that doing s smaller crafts, things that I don't have to expand too far out, like this is something that's here and I can work on it here. Uh, if I'm sitting at a regular table, this is just my thing, and um, if I'm sitting at a regular table, I tend to lean down into it. Uh, and this keeps me from leaning towards my table. So it really helps with my back. So I'm really comfortable. Uh, and it keeps me kind of upright, it keeps my back you know, as straight as I possibly can have it. Uh, I do lean in a little bit, but I don't lean in like a lot. Like I don't hump my back. Uh, I don't know. If that's helpful to you, uh, then maybe uh, great. Anyway, um, so let's open this up just so we can see what it looks like because uh, it looks so pretty in the picture. And I'm sure that you've seen these, especially those of us about my age. We know what this is, this little honeycomb. It just pops open like that. And then the other side also, like it fans out. And it, and it has these uh, paper clips that was holding it uh, together when it was uh, at its close position. And you just use those same paper clips to keep them open. Or if you want to use a little bit of glue to hold that down, you can. But I think the paper clip is best because then it could be put away, fold it back up. And then there we go. So it says it's a boy. It's so cute. I love it. And I wanted that for the top of my cake, but it's a little big. Now, if if, uh, if I was to do, you know, like a bigger, with a bigger size diaper and maybe make a fourth row down here, maybe three rows, maybe make two rows so that this would be actually what the top would, very top layer would look like, then this would fit on there really nicely. So something like this would be great. But because it, it um, I decided to go a little bit smaller because, um, like I said, I'm doing it here in my home and I'm going to use a smaller space to decorate. And then I've got the cupcake tower and some 
other items that I want to put on there and you'll see what I'm going to do. Uh, then I couldn't have like a really big cake. Not only that, but then my son and daughter-in-law have to transport this to San Antonio after the, uh, you know, that's a four, almost a four hour drive. Uh, it's not even four hours anymore because the speed limit has gone up higher and you know, these kids, they drive really fast. But anyway, um, including myself. So um, <laughs> I don't want them to have too much stuff in their car to have to import. They can take it apart, it might be easier for them, but if they just want to toss it in there like that, it's not a very big cake form. So that's why I'm doing it small. Uh, so uh, just, just to let you know, if some of y'all are probably saying, that's just too small, I want it bigger. Do it bigger. Uh, by all means, go right ahead. Okay, I'm going to put this, it's a boy decoration. I'll probably use it on something else. So what I decided before I got into everything, because I do have this little kind of a little hole here from the tube that I used in the middle, right here. Um, I, can, I have a little insert for flowers. So I can make a little bouquet and just insert it right in there. So I'm just going to take some of these flowers. I'm going to take this one and I'm going to use my floral tape. And I'm not even going to worry about the stick because, I mean, look at that. It fits in there just fine and it doesn't go all the way in. But I'm going to put some more flowers on there so that it'll also keep it from, you know, going all the way in there. Now, I don't need this bottom part, so I'm going to remove that. I'm going to add a little bit of blue here. And I'm going to bend this a little bit because I don't want all my flowers just like bunched up together. I want them to be a little bit open. Let's move you over a little bit so we can work here. Now I've done these little sprays uh, for you before, uh, but if you want to see a little tutorial, because I do want to get into uh, more of a floral design uh, uh, aspect of doing crafts uh, and teaching you that, um, let me know because uh, we can do something like this. I'm thinking about Mother's Day coming up also, so maybe we want to, I want to revisit the corsage idea uh, that I did last year. Just do something a little bit, a little bit, now that I can, you know, I have a better camera and such, I can do something a little bit nicer for you, a better video because the one that I did back then was a little bit of a fail. Anyway, so um, I don't mind redoing a corsage video, so let me know. Oh, I am going to be doing corsages for Friday for the, for the mom and the dad-to-be, and it'll be a different style, but uh, I'm going to be doing that. So anyway, this is what I've got so far. Some little flowers like that. Let me add more of this. I love this. It's an off-white. It's not quite white, but I am kind of using that color in what I'm doing, so that'll be okay. And I'm going to make a nice little bouquet here with these little flowers. I've got plenty of them to work with so I'm not worried. Okay so I'm back and I'm finishing up my little bouquet. I just placed little flowers here and there so that whatever I did to one side I did you know like a three so I, whatever I did here I did here and then I did here okay and then I just take them all together here and then I've actually trimmed a little bit with my wire cutters uh, some of the wires that were sticking out here at the bottom and um, I think that looks pretty good it looks nice and full I added some of these little little whites uh, little little splashes of flowers as well close to this top one and then three around it so it kind of a forms that triangle okay so now I want to put this star because I did have these stars that I also purchased and I purchased them at a little craft store near me someone actually who's from my hometown here in Harlingen uh, said she's from here she wanted to know where the um, where I actually where I got them so I let her know and um, but you can go on Amazon and you can find these sh uh, styrofoam shapes uh, you could then paint them and then put glitter on them if you if you like uh, you don't have to glitter them but um, that's what I found out that they were really pretty these already came in a little stick now when I looked at Amazon all I found was just the the shapes uh, there was different uh, shapes. There were some even like little duckling shapes. So that was really nice. Okay, so I got these in these uh, three different colors. I got blue, white, and then the silver. And these are going to go pretty much in different areas of the decoration because the theme is uh, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Okay, I think I mentioned that in the last video. I'm not really sure. But anyway, uh, that's what it's going to be. So uh, there will be little stars here and there. And I think it's going to look really pretty. Look at that. I'm going to put that right in the middle, so now I'm going to tape that. And I don't need any paper shirt in the very top because I'm going to put this bouquet. I'm, I need to put it in there and see how it's going to rest in there first before I continue doing anything. There we go. 
That's going to look really nice. I think I want some ribbon cascading out. Where, actually, this is the back of the cake where all these seams are. So, let me uh, fix these so that they rest nicely on the edge there. This is the front, which you're looking at. Can you see that? No, you can't. Let me move it back. Mm -hmm. There's the top right there. I'll move the camera so you can see it a little bit better. Okay. So that's cute. I think. <laughs> there we go. I'll probably fix this a little bit better because I do want to add two more little stars in there. And I want to see if I can get them somehow kind of angled on there. All right, so I'm back, and um, I decided to put uh, three more of these uh, flowers in a little bundle. So basically one of each of the different flowers that I chose to put in the bouquet here on the top. And this is where, where I'm at so far. Uh, so I'm going to take these, just slide the leaves up on this one, put these together, the three of them, just grab the three pieces together, some tape, and I'm going to go ahead and trim this here, kind of short. I don't need these long sticks. I have a little trash can back there so if you see me tossing things it's either going in the trash can or on the floor or in the trash can or on the floor. Okay so now I'm just going to take them like that and then you can just fold a couple of them a little bit just bend them at the wire part. Uh, there we go. So you can make two little bundles just like that and then I'm just going to add some a ribbon and I'm going to go ahead and use this one that says a little boy on it let me remove the plastic on it, and maybe you can see it a little bit better without any reflection. See that? I got these at the Dollar Tree, by the way. It's got this label on it. These were from the Dollar Tree. I got that one. This one also that has some little polka dots, and this one has little, little feet, and it says baby on it, but it's the same label. Okay, so I got those as well from the Dollar Tree. Ah, this one's so pretty. Oh, I got that one at Walmart. Okay, anyway, I'm going to take some of this ribbon and I'm going to make some tails at kind of the length of the top part here and then just do some loops. And these loops should just kind of, kind of droop down a little bit. They're not going to be like real fluffy loops. So I'm going to make several. Let's see, maybe six, so three on each side. And I do have uh, bow making uh, tutorials. I don't mind refreshing that and doing new ones if I have to. I like this one because it says little boys, but it also has these little blue stars in it. I didn't grab my floral wire, which I'm going to need. And I'm just gonna cut a little piece. And I want the piece to be long enough to go around it and then twist. And there'll be long, long enough little bits on it, you know, on the ends here, a wire, so that then I can use that to attach to the little bouquets. And I want to do it on this one here first, and I'm actually going to attach it to the, the stick where the star is. So you might want to do that beforehand, but I don't mind reaching in and doing that. I end up doing that a lot. Okay, so I'm just going to cut myself. Let's grab this. So let's decide again where this rests so that I know where that's going. Okay. I can actually just tuck it in there, but I don't want to do that. Okay. I'm going to attach it to the stem of the star with a stick and then just tie around. This particular type of tape floor is a floral tape. Uh, it becomes sticky. Now when you first uh, start using it, you're probably going to be like, well, I don't feel any stickiness. It, it doesn't stick. Well, you have, to, you have to pull on it a little bit. And that releases the adhesive that's between the, or w within the tape. And that will, they will stick down. If I press them together, they're stuck now. So I'd have to pull to get them apart. But anyway, that's what I've done here. So I'm going to make several of these little bow things so that I can see them popping out. 
one on each side of my bouquet and then one for each of these little sprays that I made because I'm going to put one down here and one down here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tuck them in between the, the diapers, the, the, the diapers, well, between the diapers, just tuck them in like that. And then the little bow bouquet will, uh, the little, yeah, the little bow, the ribbon bow will just hang out like that. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm also going to do some uh, strings of the curling ribbon. I'm just going to go ahead and just loop it around several times like that, maybe twice, and then cut. There we go. And you just take all of these bits and right in the middle, just bring them together and knot, make a little knot. Make a little knot like that. And they're just hanging like that. And then if you're familiar with curling ribbon, you know that you can just take your scissors and curl it. You can make some a little looser than the others. Some of them just curl them at the very ends. So that's what we want to do. And then we're going to also take these bits and we're going to tuck them here and there between the diapers. So I want to go ahead and make a few of them. I don't know how many, just, you know, some are going to be kind of long. And then there's going to be some bits that I'm going to do a little bit shorter because as we get lower on the cake, we don't need that much length. You know, we just need it to just kind of hang right here. So we'll make them shorter uh, strings. But for now, these longer ones can be here. And then I can just tuck them in like that. Or I can take my little glue dots and then glue them on. Or if you want to take wire and wire around them just like we did the other bow and then attach it to these as you stick them in there, that's fine and that's the only place you want them. But if you want them in other spots here and there, you can use the uh, glue dots for that. Okay, um, I shall be back once I've got those done. We'll tuck them in and then we'll have all these little cute little toys to put on. All right, so I've gone ahead and I put all the curling ribbon that I wanted to put on the cake and I've actually gone ahead and I've tied it to some of the stems and then I went ahead and I also even hot glued into the little bows so that I wouldn't have to worry about you know tucking them anywhere else or gluing onto them on anything else or even using the glue dots and I think uh, I ended up also putting some extra of that shredded paper right in here to make this a little bit tighter a little bit firmer so it wasn't flopping around so much so that's something you could do or you can use tissue paper uh, you can also do that as well to get it in there. If you don't have any tissue paper, get some uh, paper towels from your home or some toilet paper and push it in there so that it keeps everything nice and tight in there. Okay, so I have this cake stand here at my home. It actually has a dome on it, but I'm not using the dome. I'm just using the stand part of it. And it's actually the perfect size to display my, my cake on. So I'm kind of glad that I went with a smaller one. Even if it had been a little bit bigger, it would still be able to stand on it because it's not heavy at all. And it's not like a real cake that will crumble off or anything like that. Uh, so if you want to do that as well and elevate it, use a cake stand. If you don't have a cake stand, you could take an inexpensive candle holder and an inexpensive plate, preferably a... Uh, you know a clear or white or something that goes along with the decor that uh, you're doing and then hot glue them together or use an e6000 glue and glue them together you can hot glue them together so you can take them apart later and just make sure that you're you're just carefully placing it on the table and then the cake then can be placed on top of that you can even spray paint it if you want I also went ahead because I was moving this cardboard so much I also went ahead and I made sure that I secured all the little edges of the the doily which you can't really see it on camera but you can see it here and live in person so I can see that there is a little lacy detail on the board but the little edges also of the board get kind of like wanting to separate a little bit because it's cardboard and you know how it has a little bit of uh, cardboard inside of it um, it did want to lift up and separate so I went ahead and I took a 1 8th, 1 8th inch wide ribbon such as this one and then I hot glued that all the way around the edge as well so I not only did I hot glue down the edges of my doily just little dots here and there to make sure it was all down because I kept kind of pushing it up and folding it so I just uh, glued them down but then I glued a little tiny ribbon around the edge so I just scooted it over to the edge of the table where I could you know put glue on here and make sure that they didn't get on my table and then I was just turning it as I was putting on the ribbon a little bit at a time and that worked out really well so here we go that's that now I went ahead and I put 
together the word baby, these little blocks. I just hot glued them together on, on the table so that I can kind of see. I didn't want them to be all like straight and perfect. And I didn't want them to form the word baby. But I still wanted them to look like they just kind of tumbled a little bit. So that's how I glued them together. And initially I wanted to put them here in the front. But I have this ribbon here that's got the, the wording baby and oh baby. And I don't want to cover that. Then I thought about maybe putting it way over on on this side over here, but I felt like it was a little bit long and it wasn't really resting on here correctly. So I decided that I want to put it right here in the front and put it on the board. So I'm actually going to take just the letter A and that little block and the Y will be actually glued down onto the board. So I'm going to turn this around so that I can see this and center it. Okay, there we go. Put plenty of glue on the back edge of the cube of the little cubes, little plastic cubes, the blocks. I don't want to put them on the front edge because I don't want the glue to squirt out over the edge and then drip. Not only that, but the whole block is not resting on there. So I'm just putting glue on the back part of the little block, you know, like the back part, and that's what's resting on, on the board. And this other front end, I didn't put any. Because like I said, I don't want it to squirt out. Okay, so let's turn this around so that you can see that. Right there. That looks really cute. I also decided that I wanted to put the baby bottle up here on the top. I have this little baby bottle. I think it's really cute. I put a little bit of a stick on there. And I put him on there, but he kind of fell off. So I'm actually going to put another little glue dot. I don't know why I'm calling it a he, but the little bottle. Okay, I'm going to put an extra little dot on there. They kind of bend on you a little bit, so they're kind of... The best thing to do is to peel them off while they're on here. Let's, let me remove this. Don't try to peel them off of the, the little backing. And so just peel off, the, peel off one part of it. Let's see, let's put it on here. And then put it on, on your item, then peel off. Because that way it doesn't get all like squished, which is what's happening to me. And it wasn't doing me any good. So I'm going to glue this up here. I made a little bit of room here so that I could stick it onto the diaper. So I'm hoping now this time it will stick. And I'm also going to put one a little bit higher and stick it to one of the stems of the flowers. So that I know it's, um, you know, on there correctly. Let's get that off of there. I'm going to put it on the, uh, the little blue part of the bottle that screws on. Of the lid. Put that on there. Oops. <laughs> it wasn't coming off the paper. Okay, now I'm going to stick it to one of these leaves. Nice and squeeze it on there. Good. Okay, now let's turn that around so you can see the little baby bottle right here. Okay, and then I've got a little rattle. Like I said, I don't want to cover this lattice part, so I'm going to put this little rattle kind of off to the side, but I want to make sure that I put it facing the right way because it does have the wording. It's a boy, so I want that to be looking upward. And I want that right about there. I could just hot glue that onto the lace here. So we're just going to put little dots of glue and then one down here at the bottom where it'll glue onto the ribbon. I'm sorry, I meant to say ribbon. I said lace. Okay, so that part is not going to get glued down, just this part on the top. So I'm not going to worry about the little bit of glue put there. There we go. Can you see it on there? <laughs> Am I pointing the camera in the right spot? It's right there, or the cake to the camera. There we go. He's just off to the side, where she is. I want to make sure this one ribbon that's kind of coming down doesn't keep flopping across things, so I'm just going to glue it down to the other ribbon that's wrapped around. This little tail kept flopping over this way, so I just glued it down, but I, I gave it like a little bit of a loop. I didn't pull it straight and then glue it. I, I just gave it a little bit of a, a loop, so it just looks like it's just kind of resting on there. Okay, and you can do that to the, all your other tails. If your tails don't want to go in the direction or they, they keep flipping over you can do the same thing to them I think I'm going to do that 
to this one right here because I don't like the way it's just flopping over in front of that flower. So I'm going to lift it a little bit, just a little bit of a loop and glue it to this other ribbon right here. Just a little dot. So those are just ways of manipulating your ribbon so that it, they flow where you want them and they won't be covering other things. It's just to add a little bit of glue. This one's fine. It's falling fine and it's the, the front of it is facing forward. I'm having a little issue with this one also so I'm going to do the same thing and make a little loop and glue it so that the wording, so I can see the wording coming like that rather than it was flipped over and it was kind of going that way. And I do have a little fan on here that kind of makes that happen, but now I know that it won't move on me again, it'll stay right there. And right about there where I put that, I do want this little baby, I want this little cute little, little rubber baby right here in the front. So I'm going to put him right there. And I will be back because I'm about to run out of battery and uh, then we'll do the final bit. All right, so here is my completed diaper cake. I am really happy with it. I'm going to give myself a big old thumbs up, and I hope that you too will give me a big old thumbs up and leave a nice comment down below. Let me know what you think and if you'll be doing this yourself. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and share on your social medias. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified of when I put up videos, which is on Tuesdays and Fridays. And that's it, everyone. Enjoy.